Hey everybody, it's Louisa here and I wanted to share with you my swap projects for a group swap over at Scrap the World, who is Tamika. Um, Scrap the World is her YouTube channel and she does um, lots of group swaps, controlled group swaps is why I like to join her swaps when I can. So I had missed the last couple of swaps but um, I saw she had this one going on and I decided to jump on in and join. Um, it is called, and I will put the link down below where she shares, um, what she made. It is called Stuff Pocket Swap, and she did groups as far as, like, themes. She did different groups for the themes that she listed, and one of them was Sweet Treat, so I decided to join up on the Sweet Treat theme, um, tropicals, or Sweet, Sweet theme, that's what it's called. So I'm in the group, I'm in group one in the sweet theme. <laughs> so um, we only had to make three for our partners. And then of course I made an extra one for her, um, for the host. And I, I love how it came out. So the only thing is I wanted to do like a shaped pocket, but I couldn't think of what to do as far as a sweet is concerned. So instead what I did was I printed out one of my digital papers um, I am selling on my blog it, it's actually a whole collection it's called Sweet Summer or no Sweet Summer <laughs> Summer Fun I think this one was Summer Fun wasn't it now, now I'm confused let me double check because I am going to be putting the link down below to where you can purchase the whole collection um uh, I can't even see. Yeah, so this is from Summer Fun, and it's a collection of two kits that I put up for sale together. And I printed out, I think, four of these, um, eight and a, eight and a half by eleven. So the link will be down below where you can purchase the whole digital kit. It's a digital file that you'll be purchasing, and you know you'll get an email and you will download it and print it and use it however you'd like. So. This is the pattern that I use for the actual pocket, but I also mixed in um, with that. And this goes perfect with this my collection, this mint pink, and lots of these pads from Craftsmith, which is um, Michaels. A lot of these with these colors coordinate well with my digital kit, so I went ahead and used it not only for the pocket, but some of these parts as you can see I used for making some flowers because we had to make some handmade flowers I also used glittered paper a couple of glittered papers and some cardstock and some gold foiling for some of the embellishments that I made so I do have file codes so I'm gonna have to like I'll be going on and off just I'll edit this so it's like one full video but there's going to be file um numbers oh let me just show you the whole thing phil now i'm not actually completely done i need to make my about what is it uh currently card to insert but i haven't you know i haven't decided what i want to put in as far as currently um so what's going on here hold on <laughs> i'm just trying to get into the silhouette store to get my file um, info, my designs. All right, so they're pretty much done except for those cards that I have to make. So here are the three. I left one unpackaged so I can show everything um, completed. Um, I did package up most of the embellishments. I left the card not packaged. Um, I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun to open up all these little things. Um, so there it is, completed. Now there's slight variations because I didn't have, like, I really wanted to use for each one this larger flower, but I didn't have enough, so I had to, you know, compensate. And But they still look pretty much the same. Okay, so there's those filled. I made an extra embellishment. I made a little wand here. And you can see the paper right there. And on the inside, you'll see that mint, um, what's it called? Mint pink one. So there's fringe, there's a little bit of trim, some flowers, there's some 
um, stickers, some puffy. I don't know where these are from, though. I have it. I don't have the actual packaging. I only have the like clear sleeve that they came in. So you can kind of see peaks of things in there. And then the whole thing I'm actually going to also wrap up. Um, so when that's done, I'm going to attach it to this video. But I haven't even gotten to that yet. <laughs> but I really wanted to show this much. Um, and I did finish off a lot of stuff with some white gesso. And then I poured on my uh, multi-crystal glitter mix. Found this at Hobby Lobby. It's from Stampendous. So you can find this anywhere. But I got this particular one at Hobby Lobby. So wherever I put the gesso, I sprinkled this on, let it dry. And you get a little bit of a whitewash and, and the sparkle from the glitter. So I did it on the embellishments, on the card, and on the tag that I made. So there's this one. And you can see some I did on the left, some on the right, only because I was trying not to hide too much of the images that are on here. I really wanted that to show. And then also the differences in the wands because I used a pack of these from the Paper Studio. Um, these are called Bright Medallion. They still have them. They're at Hobby Lobby. So I don't, you know, they don't come with the same exact design. So I did use different ones. And then the donuts came out of these packs here. There's two in here. I, I bought several of these because they were on clearance at Michael's for 49 cents. So as you can see they don't come with the same one. So they're going to have different donuts, you know, different flowers. The little bows on the wands are different as well because these are from the Dollar Tree. And I only use the solid colored ones. Okay, so, um, who is warm in here? It is hot. It's Florida. It's ridiculously hot. Okay. So, you get the idea of how it looks finished. I will go into more details. I'm going to put this to the side. And like I said, I still need to put my info. Oh, gosh, this, and this is another reason why I packaged a lot of the stuff. So, this doesn't get too crazy with the glitter. Okay. Alrighty. Let's scoot this over. And so, here is everything out of the packaging. Um, isn't it pretty? So, again, here's the pocket. And inside, I did put some shred. And actually, I have this bag here filled with that shred that someone had put in packaging that they sent me. I don't remember when it was or who it was from, but they put that shred in there. Um, so I threw it in the bag because I knew I was going to use it. And it was a mixture of the white and pink. So I put it in the bottom so that everything would stand out. Um, you know, just protruding. So now you can see here, this is that mint pink um, paper. So, and I constructed this pretty much the same way I've already showed in some of my video tutorials on how I do my loaded pockets. And this would be like the pocket that I would put on the outside of one of the bigger ones. So I just did a backing and then made a pocket. Because it's just supposed to be one single pocket that you put these goodies in. Alright, so um, this, I, I want to say it's from Dollar Tree that I got last year. I've had it for a little while and it had ice creams um i don't even know where the rest went i had where did they go hmm oh here we go had all this but it might not be dollar tree i don't know so it had this and some others plus i put some of them in my little kits that i had for sale not that long ago all right so then these here these flowers can't wait to put all this stuff away <laughs> seriously our uh, recollections and pretty much all the flowers are from Michaels but here it is and they had these really nice shiny pearly looking ones and that's really what I wanted to use but you only get so many of each so I have those on there and then I also use these type of Michaels flowers and I use some of these um, flowers too. Also from Michaels. They're just a Recollections brand that's from Michaels. And I use this on something else. And then from my own stash, these cream ones here. Alright, so now I think I can put that away. 
Um, these little sprays, I put a couple, which I also put the glitter on with the gesso. That is actually from Natasha Scrapbook Corner, which she is closed for the summer right now, but um, she has all this stuff there. You can kind of see right here, these sprays right there. I love those things. And I actually cut it in half so that I could get two in here because these are too long for this project. So, um, that's from NSK. I'll put this to the side. This trim here is, there's three layers that I put down. I also found these at Michael's. I didn't use this one, but I just wanted to show you. Um, these go on those little pinata things, or you can decorate bags and stuff. So this one has two shades. This one has the white. So I just took one, one, and one, and layered them. And they have adhesive already, so you just peel the backing and layer it. And I had to do this to it, because they do come flat. Um, and then I just put some of my own trim on top of that. All right, so that's pretty much the pocket. Okay, now put that to the side. All right, so then let's go over this. Um, for years now, I've had a few of these little card. What does it say in there? Card packs um, from Joann's. I think now they just got different brands. Um, now I'm going to have to look for this. No, because I want to... Oh, no. It's a die on top of that. All right, here it is. Anyway, this is from Joann's. I've had it for a while. It is black cardstock, but I covered it up. Um, I used both the card and the envelope. The requirements uh, as far as this was you have to have the pocket and the theme. You had to have a 3x3 three three card, and these are already 3x3. Three three. Yes, I found them on clearance. And so here it is. I rounded my corners with my corner chomper. This is Cropper Dot. I think I used the smaller one. I don't know if it was the same one or the other one. I have two other ones. I could be wrong. And layered the pink, the mint pink um, paper. And on the inside, I also used some of this one from that same uh, pack. And let me show you the envelope real quick. I, on the envelope, I kept it simple. I just put a little bit of tape from Dollar Tree that I just picked up. Let's see if I can pull it out. You get one sheet. Or no, sorry. You get two sheets in here. Um, from Dollar Tree that they have right now. I need to turn on the copy because hubby is coming home soon. Alright, so um, I did finish just a couple corners with some of the gesso and the glitter. And here I used this dye that I found that Tuesday morning and it is all about cake. And they still had some at my store. Okay, so I didn't use the candles because it's not a birthday theme. I just wanted the cake. So I cut the stand with gold foil paper. And then I cut the cake in three with three papers. There's a brown cardstock and then two fine glittered um, papers. And you can see that it does emboss like little dots on there. So then here I made a little flag. Um, each one, there's, there's two that say life is good and two that says life is sweet. Um, those stickers are from, of course, Michael's. These are recollection stickers. And I backed them onto some of the paper, the scrap paper that I used for here. And then just cut out a little banner and layered it on top. I put a little bow that someone gifted me a few of these of. And that was that. So done. Done deal. Okay. And then. Okay. So now I'm going to have to. Actually, let me just go to this first. Because I, I have to get the files to show you the cuts. All right, so we were supposed to make two altered stick pins, and I used um, Wild Orchid Craft stick pins. They already come with this little crown and a bead on top. So, and then I just, you know, layered my beads. You had to have two beads and at least one spacer, and that pretty much filled up my stick pin, so I couldn't even add more that much because you want to have enough pin at the end to stick through stuff. And I just kind of made this I don't even know what I did because I just did it to 
to house it this and when you put it in the little baggie it kind of covers those points because I don't have the little earring backs to put there but these are all either glass or ceramic I think the hardest ceramic using scraps oops scraps because I had a lot of these little scraps left I just used the scraps of my paper and then I put it in my little baggie um what time is it Let me make sure the time let's go to this one let's see whichever file I find first so we also had to make an embellishment that's at least two inches or it had to be two inches small or smaller I guess she loves doing these tiny embellishments for the swaps um, so I punched out a scallop circle out of um, it was a two and a half inch punch or two inches two inches I'm sorry it had to be a two inch embellishment I cut a two inch scallop circle with a punch and then a one inch circle using the mint pink paper and then with the glitter paper I cut out with my silhouette machine this little candy which has a little wrapper and it layers things for you it also had a heart but I didn't need the little heart um, I'm looking at that right now let me click it to find the number for you it's called Valentine candies and the design ID is 72628. So it gives you lollipops. You get two different lollipops and then this little candy. Um, so then I layered a cute little button bow from Joann's. I had bought a couple packs of these and I just put them in this jar. They kind of remind me of candy with those colors. The Recollections Flower. This is a sticker, a dimensional sticker from that same pack I showed you with the donuts. So everybody's going to get like a different ice cream cone in there too because they're not all the same. And then again I went ahead and um, did the gesso and the glitter. So I didn't put anything on the back. They could either lay, stick it flat on something or put a dimensional dot or something like that. So that's my 2 inch embellishment. Okay so now this gorgeous flower. So we had to either make... Um, it was either make or alter a flower. I made mine from scratch using a silhouette file, which I need to find. Um, and it's layered petals. You just layer them, you glue them on top of each other, and then you raise them up one at a time to get this. Now, mine does not look like the picture, but I think it's because of the paper that I use. Um, I use that same paper pad the mint pink but the finish on it is kind of like a shiny paper so it's a lot stiffer and harder to manipulate than regular cardstock um oh here it is so in the picture um of this cut it looks completely different <laughs> But it is called a 3D Queen Anne Rose Flower, and the design ID is 55885. Um, the, of course, they're using regular cardstock, so it's not like this. And it still came out beautiful. It's a little more flatter than the picture. Um, so, again, it gives you the, all these cuts. Let me see. So you can kind of see, because you can probably just use punches. And you see how this paper is shiny it's not exactly the, the same one it's not the same thing that they use so look at this it's just a whole bunch of petals and it gives you one two three four five six seven layers different sizes I think you get two of each size or maybe one smaller one and you put a little dot of glue and you lay them all on top of each other from largest to smallest and then you go and raise those petals um, starting from the top and working your way to the, the bottom um, and you can curl the ends like I did too so I had curled them and then glued everything in and then just raised up everything to create this in the picture it's more up it looks more like I want to say more like this the way it's raised and then I just put a pearl in the middle because it had that opening <laughs> And then it does come with some petals, and I did use again that, and it has the things that you can actually bend them, but I, they didn't stay bent. So again, some more glitter, and that's my flower from scratch. I won't be doing this again because it is kind of a pain for me. 
Um, so I only did enough for the for the um, <laughs> for the swap. All right. So next file, which I have to find now. I had two donut files on my silhouette um, in my files that I've purchased. I don't know if this because I know that some things came with the machine. But we had to have a shaped tag, and it had to have um, a dangle, something to hang your tag with. It had to have to and from on the somewhere on there. Mine is on the back. I'll show you in a second. I'm just looking for the file. I love this. It actually comes with the sprinkles too, but I can't deal with teeny tiny cuts like that. So I just you know left the sprinkles off. I'm still looking. And there's so many files to play with it, but I just don't have time to cut everything out. Okay, well that's not it. That's an image. I thought I had two, but I only have one that you actually gives you this. Oh, where is it? There it is. <clears throat> and at the time that I got it, it was actually, f is it free now? I think it's free right now. Maybe, maybe not. Or maybe I got it when it was free. Because sometimes they give you free files. Right now it looks like it's just 99 cents. So this was called Donut. And the design ID is 51231. And it gives you the basic donut shape. It gives you the icing shape. And then it gives you all the little sprinkles. Which are going to be tiny. Um, the file itself is huge. I shrunk it down to this. Um... So I first cut it with this like tan color, like a donut color. I actually inked it a little bit. I don't have the ink out right now, but I think it was uh, walnut maybe. I don't know. Tea dye, I think. Um, it had to have an embellishment on it, so I put this little sticker, this little bling sticker that's from the Dollar Tree. Because I didn't want to put too much, because I knew I was going to put this. Then I put the icing on top of icing, which... I it's just I just had to on the back my to and from it's tiny but I really wanted to play with this um, roll up I don't know what you call this little stamper here that's from Target that I, they have right now it comes with this so and they have a to and from on here so I used that and then I put this embellishment that I found um, through AliExpress it feels like an eraser but it's not it's just and then I screwed in this little head screw I think that's what it's called or eye screw carefully because you can see it kind of peeks through there and then a garment pin I think it was from seven gypsies or from Tim Holtz to hang my dangle because you had to have a dangle and then just a little piece of ribbon as my tie all right so the last thing is this I hope I have enough battery life I cut a straw in half from Target that they have right now 24 for a dollar and I placed that, um, I already showed you what that was, I showed you what this was, and I showed you what that was. I just later, layered it all, cut a one inch circle to cover the back from my paper, and that is that. There you go. Alright, so I've added a few things before I went ahead and packaged it. I just wanted to show you, um, I wanted to make one more little wand, and I had these straws, um, these straws that had these things on them I think they were from the Dollar Tree so these open up and you just kind of slide this little slit there I just instead of putting it on there I just glued it in place actually some of them I slid on the little thing and then glued it but they're all glued in place um, I did slip it off of the straw because I didn't need that and then I just put it on a coffee stirrer which I ended up having to cut a little shorter because um, it was a little too high in here so these coffee stirs you can find on the supermarket I found a pack at Dollar Tree so I did add that I just wanted one more thing and I forgot I had these and then I did my currently which the one that I'm going to send to Mika is the one that I kind of messed up on which I might have already packed no it's this one so let me show you this one just so you know, everyone else will get the one that didn't get cut. But when I made my currently, what I did was I printed it. I printed or typed in the info through um, my Photoshop. And I put it 
Um, behind there, I put my pattern paper, which is this one here. It's from my kit, uh, Summer Fun. And, you know, just did all my currently, which is currently watching Fear of the Walking Dead, because Walking Dead is not on right now, and Ghost Adventures. And um, I do like watching shows, you know, reality TV, but like shows about ghosts and stuff like that. But these guys, they actually, you know, go looking for them and stuff like that. Kind of like, um, what do they call ghost hunters or whatever, but I kind of lost interest in them. But anyway, um, I'm currently loving my downtime after work because work has not been good to me. Um, <laughs> so, you know, as soon as I clock out, I'm like, that's it. You're out of mind coming here and I'm just gonna chill and I'm not always crafting I most of the time I just turn on YouTube um, and watch a little bit and then I'll do a little bit of crafting or like lately I've been doing the traveler notebook thing which is my next currently which is projects making travelers notebooks and then here um, needing money for a nice vacation still working on that vacation um, not sure where we're going yet and drinking iced tea and lots of water it's like a gazillion degrees over here in florida and it's super muggy we've been getting rain um not every single day but when we do it's like torrential almost um so we get that humidity but that's my drink of choice i really don't drink alcohol anymore because of my high blood pressure even then i wasn't even drinking that much but still now what I was going to say about this one, only this particular card, when I was cutting it with my cutter, I accidentally cut off part of the word, so I taped that back on, but you can barely see the tape, you can just see that one little line, so that's the one I'm sending to to make it, and that was my currently, and I had printed this, what I did was I faded the pattern so that you could see the text, and then on the back I did the full pattern. So that's just going to slip in there and, um, oops, well now you see, that's the tape from, huh. so the adhesive of this stuff doesn't want to stick, so I better, and it's probably the humidity in here too, so I'm going to pack these up fast. <laughs> um, so the way I package them, I have these self-sealing bags that I got from Miami warehouses I think I think I'm not sure this says Dari so I don't know but I thought I got it from the Miami warehouses and there's 50 in here there's six and a half by six and a half crystal clear with a little thing that you pull off and it sticks so they fit perfectly in there and I did add um, one of these in there as an extra goodie because I did put a little bag of goodies but it's either going to be one of these uh, puffy stickers from Michael's or one of the ice, um, ice cream cone or popsicle. So, because I have two and two. And they fit together in here perfectly. There's the package of stickers. And what I did was I used a whole spool for both of these. Well, I haven't packaged all the others, but I've already cut the ribbon. A brand new spool of this really cute cupcake ribbon from um, Hobby Lobby that I've had in my stash and you know just wrapped it one time around made a bow did a little fish tail and then I also printed out my information here what the group swap was I was trying to put scrap the world somewhere in there and I messed up on that too so I left that part out but, you know, everyone who's getting this knows what it's from. And then it was, I was in the sweet theme group. Um, the month, year, my name, and my YouTube channel. So that's pretty much it. And anyway, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.